time? Are you are you the? Uh, yes, I, I'm the. What do you mean? It, it's, it's late. I, I know it's late. Yes, it's late. Uh, what can I do? For you're young. I'm you're young. You're younger than I. Younger than what? Than I thought. Do I know you? What? Do we know each other? Have we met before? No. You're sure. Is the Monsignor here? What? The Monsignor? He's upstairs sleeping. I need the Monsignor. Listen, it, it's very late. It's after 3 a.m. So if this could just... No, no, it can't. It can't wait. All right. Uh, well, if you won't tell me what the problem is, then how can I... There's something... Something is inside me. Something is... Something is... Possessed. I'm possessed. You're possessed? Yes. Possessed by what? Don't. Possessed by what? Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't not believe me. You're supposed to. Supposed to what? I need help. I need the Monsignor. Because you're possessed. Yes! Uh, where were you? What? Before this, where were you? I was... What does it matter where I was? Huh? Were you at a party or a bar? I'm not. I wasn't. What's your name? Why? Well, I don't know you. You don't go here. I can't remember. You don't know your name. I, I can't. But you know to come here? You remember to come here? The light. I, I, I saw the light. In what the... light? There is no light. Just help me. Help me. Listen, it, it's very late. Why don't you try and go home and, and sleep? I don't know how to. I don't know the last time I slept. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. A good night. Listen to me! Something is wrong! Something is very wrong with me, and I need help! I need you to listen! Okay, alright, uh, try to calm down. Alright, uh, I need you to let go. Just let go. Okay, um, why don't we, um, let's just sit. For a moment, sit down. Tell me what happened. You are not serious. I am, though. You're going to be a priest. Yeah. Why? I don't know why. Because. Because? That's what a little boy says. Probably shouldn't be bringing up little boys. <laughs> that is so not funny. Right, right. It's, it's really not. I hear ya! <laughs> it's a little bug. No, not even a little bit. Well, tell me why, really. I don't know why, really. It's, it's hard to elucidate. Try. Mary. Try, Tommy. Thanks. Sorry, Thomas. Jesus. Oh shit. Am I not supposed to say that now? Say what? Jesus. What? Are you gonna be upset if I say Jesus like an expletive? Like an expletive? Elucidate. <laughs> Fair point. Well, are you? Am I what? To be upset. For fuck's sake, no, Mary, I'm gonna be a priest. Not a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> That's what counts. Yeah. 
mean, it's just the two of us, you know? Yeah, I know. And you're going to be a priest. Yeah. Could be the end of the line. What? Just saying, could be the end of us, the family. Well, what about you? What about me? Well, I mean, you could go and get yourself knocked up. It doesn't have to be <laughs> all on me. <laughs> and uh, what's been your evaluation of my recent romantic history? <laughs> <laughs> To the end of the line. To the end of the line. <laughs> so what can you tell me? Can you tell me anything? If you want me to help you, you have to tell me something. You understand that, yes? I need more than I, I'm possessed in order to help you. But don't. Please don't. All right, uh, all right. Uh, sorry. Uh, are you hurt? Uh, did I hurt you? No, uh, I, I don't know. Are you afraid? What are you afraid of? Same things you are. Well, I'm not afraid. Of course you are. Listen, I want to help you if, if you'll let me, if I can. Are you Catholic? What? I'm asking if you're Catholic. Is that what brought you here? I don't know. I... Well, you're looking for an exorcism, yes? Yes. I, I don't know. Yes. Well, the rite of exorcism is Catholic. Yes. That's why I'm asking, asking if you're Catholic. When did it start? When did it start? Yes, when did it happen? Did something happen? What? Did something specific happen to make you feel this feel this way? way? Yes. It's not a, a, a feeling. I didn't mean to. something that's happening. It's happening to me right now. It's happening. <laughs> I, it's not a thing. It's a thing. It's not a feeling. It, All right. It's real. This is real. What's happening is real. Okay, it's real, I understand. For how long? What? For how long have you been like this? I'm not. It feels like always. The possession? Yes. Can you give me a, a, a timeline of any kind when, when it started, maybe? Weeks ago, a, a month maybe? been possessed for a month. Yes. So why now? What? Why now? Why seek help now? What's different? It became... It's darker. Darker? Yes. What does that mean, darker? It means you should believe me. Should I? Yes. Why? What? Well, why should I believe you? You don't appear to be possessed. How would you know? Well, isn't that why you're here, hoping that I would know? Not you. Not me. Then what? I don't expect you to know anything. And why is that? <sighs> speak in a language you don't know. What? Prove it to me. Speak in a language that you don't know, that you couldn't know. Like what? I don't know. Farsi. I can't. Armenian? I don't know that. Cling on! <laughs> Come on, you don't know a little Klingon, maybe some Vulcan or Romulan. Stop it! Prove it to me! How can I help you if you don't? Please don't taunt me. I can't help you if you don't! Prove it to me! How am I gonna prove it to you? Did you do something? I murdered someone. Hardly need possessed to do that. I'm not joking. I didn't say that you were. Yes. All right. <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> Who was it? Who did you kill? I, I don't know. You don't know this person? No. Was it a man or a woman? I don't know. When? What? When did you do this? When did this murder take place? You don't remember? No. Like you don't remember your name? Yes. I see. Do you remember anything at all? I don't, I don't know. Just, just darkness. Violence. Right. 
You can't prove it to me. What? No name, no body, nothing but yard and violence. Yes. No. I mean, that's what it felt like. Do you think that everyone who has ever committed murder is, is possessed? Aren't they? Do you think that the man who, who kills is demonically possessed? I don't know. Do you think the mother that kills to protect her child is possessed? What? What about the man who kills in self-defense? Is he possessed? It's not always self-defense. Oh, you haven't told me anything yet. You haven't showed me anything yet. If you want me to tell you, you have to t help you. You have to tell me something. And if you don't, I'm going to ask you to leave and, and, and go to the hospital or, or to a police station or even the circus baby. You think this is funny? You think this is real? You think I want to be here to feel this way? What is it that you want right now? What? What do you want? Did you come here to hurt me? Is that what you want, to scare someone? I don't know. I'm not afraid! You should be. Tommy, you all right? Oh, Mary, don't. Oh, fuck that, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my head hurts just a little. No fractures or concussions or anything like that. Just, just banged up. What the hell happened? I was at the shelter. I'll be give out food, I'll offer a blessing. I like it, it makes me feel important. You know, most of the time it's just talk, talk, and no real action. Yeah, I've heard you say this before. Yeah, sorry to repeat myself. It's fine, just, what happened today? It was odd. It was, a man came in, someone I hadn't seen before. It's a lot of the same patients, you know, you get to know them. This guy, this guy was new, and, and not just to me, nobody at the shelter seemed to know him. So he walks in, and all these layers, and he looks huge. You know, when they pile layer upon layer of clothes and rags to keep themselves warm or whatever? It was impossible to tell how big he really was. He just, just loomed over everything like a cloud. He walked in came to the center of the room and just stood there for the longest time. I didn't notice him at first. I, you know, I was handing out food and then one of the volunteers pointed him out to me. So I watched him for a minute and there he was, stock still. He may as well have been a statue or one of those weird stalagmites that grow out of the ground or something. So I walk up to him and I, sir, can I help you? He looks at me. I opens his mouth and at first there was no response. I go, sir? He opens his mouth again and then nothing. What do you mean nothing, no sound? I mean nothing, no, no sound, no breath, no smell, nothing. Smell. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine the smells in that place? I mean, the, the drugs, the smoke, the booze. I mean, it, it, it's just unwellness. It's it's not that you, you can't smell those smells because you do, but after a while you tolerate it. You can you can roll with it. But this guy, as I got closer to him, nothing else smelled either. <laughs> you know what's weird is it. When you're used to something, something that's always there, when it's gone, you know it's absence. You notice it. But, but this guy, it was, it was as if he was in a bubble where, where, where nothing existed but him. Okay. So I walk up to him again and I say, Sir, can I help you? He looks at me and he says, you're the priest. Not a question, a statement. And I go, nah, I'm the priest. Do you need a priest? And he smiles. This, this, this grin, it was awful. It was, it was as if there was too many teeth in his head. It had been going all the way on forever. There he is. That's at a 90 degree angle, which, which you wouldn't think a guy his size could do. He looks at me. Teeth. He says, Do you know the moon? And I figure maybe because it was mentally, I don't know, 
not right. I should agree with it. Yeah, I, I know the moon. He says, the moon is the devil's eye. The sun can't block it out all day. So when it rises, he sees you. He notices you. What the fuck does that mean? I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you know, I've taken psychic sociology or whatever, and I know the moon's not actually supposed to influence anybody's behavior, but I've seen it. I've seen it at church. I've, I've seen it at the shelter. Hell, I've even seen the kids at school get a little squirrely. But so I, I, I was just going to chalk it up to that. There he is, looking at him, and he reaches up the sun. Truly massive hand. And he has on these. Sunglasses. You know the kind that you get when you have eye surgery or something? You know those big black wraparound ones? Yeah, sure, like uh, like Bono glasses, but not cool. Yeah, 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 like those. So anyhow, he has on these glasses. He reaches up for them, takes them off. And underneath it was, it was terrible. It was awful. It was, his eyes were all burnt and uh, with acid or something. I, I couldn't tell if you could see it. I, I, I reach up to his head, touch his face, and say, Sir, do you need help? As I'm about to touch it, that's when I got tackled. This fucking guy tackled you? No, no, it was St. James. Who? Uh, Jimmy, St. James. Uh, he's this guy, he's got mental developmental issues. He's got the mind of a 10 year old, but the body, the body of a 40 year old man. And you know, he lives in a halfway house. He, he comes and helps out. He passes out food, takes out trash, helps the older folks sit down or whatever. So I started calling him St. James. He likes it. It, it, it makes him proud. And he's the one that hit you? Yeah. Yeah, it, it came out of nowhere. The next thing I know, I, I just get knocked to the floor. I just saw stars for a minute, and, and then there's Jimmy laying on top of me, and the volunteer's trying to yank him off, and he's yelling, No, Father T! No, Father T! And the volunteers get him up, and he, he's crying, and then I look up, and there's the giant of the man. He straightens up, Puts back on his glasses. And then he says, They're coming for you. And then he was, then he was gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? Yeah, I mean, like, not there. He, just, he wasn't there. Like, what? He left? Is that what you mean? I, I, I don't know. Look, look, look. I know how this sounds. It's just. It, he wasn't there. He was. He vanished. This this giant in rags and tatters. He was gone. Uh, you must have passed out, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got tackled, hit to the floor, knocked in my head. Yeah, I passed out. But this was after. After he vanished, he was. He was. Are you sure? He didn't just walk away, and you didn't see him, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're probably right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Then what happened? I don't know, I, I, I hit my head, I, I came to here, and I, I don't know. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm sorry they called you, it's just that you're my emergency contact. Shut the fuck up, that doesn't matter. Okay. Tom, what does that mean? That they're coming for you. I don't know. I, I mean, listen, this guy was weird, that's all. He, he needed help. Help that, help that I couldn't give him. Yeah, maybe. I guess. Hey, why don't you come and stay with me tonight? No, I don't want to be in Oh, to... shut up. What would Mom say? Yeah, what would Mom say? Listen. The guy was creepy, you got tackled by a saint, you banged up your head, you've had a really rough day. Just come with me and stay at my place, okay? I'll make that lasagna you How can I pass that up? You're damn right. Let's go. Thanks, Mary. Whatever. <laughs> oh. 
I remember I was at home. I, I think it was home. Okay, can you remember where that that is? I'm not sure now. It's, it's here. It's in this city. Okay, that's a start. I was looking at pictures, photos. Yes. Were they on a phone or a computer? No, an album, like we used to, an al a photo album. Can you remember what they were? It was people. It was my father? Good, good, that's good. And he was somewhere that wasn't here. It wasn't here. Okay, uh, so you're looking at photographs of your father who's not here. Well, uh, was he on vacation maybe or, or out of the country? Something like that. Do you remember his name? Thomas. Your father's name is Thomas? Yes. You're sure? Yes. Thomas the Doubter, I'm sure. <laughs> My father's name was Thomas. Was it? My name is Thomas too. Is it? Huh, it fits. It fits. You're a doubter. Was your father a doubter too? Was she yours? Oh. My father doubted a great many things. Then what happened? What? After looking at the photographs, then what? Then my, my head hurt. Hurt how? I felt like, like, like my brain was forcing its way out of my eyes, like it was too tight inside my skull. Uh, a migraine. Do, do you get migraines? No, it wasn't a migraine. It was something more than that. Well, do you remember taking anything, like a, like a Tylenol or an Advil? No, there was nothing to take. I didn't take anything. Okay, so your head hurts, then what? Then it was dark and violent. Right. If you want me to help you, you need to be specific. You understand that, yes? Yes, Thomas. Father Thomas. Yes, of course. Why are you a priest? What? <laughs> why are you a priest? It doesn't matter why. All that matters is that I am. After the headache, then what happens? I could feel something banging around in my head, ricocheting back and forth, and it was talking. It was saying awful things, terrible things. It was a whisper that was deafening. I, I can't hear anything else. You hear voices. Not voices. Voice. Singular. One. All. Oh. Does it tell you what to do? It tells me what is. <laughs> and what never will be. <laughs> Not a Zeppelin fan, huh? What? It is the devil's music, after all. Uh, it's sarcasm. Just a touch. You know what they say about that, don't you, about sarcasm? No, what's that? It's the devil's weapon. <laughs> Never heard that. Sarcasm is an odd choice for one who's supposed to aid those in need. Maybe so. But here's the thing. You've come here saying that you're in trouble, that you need help, that you need a priest, and showed me no signs of anything other than what you say. You say you're not hurt or injured, and still, nothing. You say that you're not high, drunk, or stoned, and there's no signs of the possession other than what you said. So right now I'm finding it very hard to believe that you're not pulling some sort of prank on me, that you're not messing with me. I don't like to be messed with. Is that right? That's right. Aren't you supposed to be a warrior for Christ? I'm supposed to help people in Christ's name. Christ does not wage war. He's a man of peace. See now, that's where you're wrong. He's a warrior king, and the battle rages endlessly. Isn't being cast from your home and made a refugee an act of war? Isn't the refusal to listen to voices of dissension an act of a dictator? Isn't the punishment of the free cruel and unusual? Who did you murder? Well, now I'm sure someone was murdered somewhere. But it wasn't you. I'm there at every murder, in some way or other. I see. <laughs> you know, for a man claiming demonic possession, you vacillate pretty wildly from grand philosophizing to total bullshit. Who said it was the man speaking to you now? Then who is it? You wouldn't believe me, doubter. Try me. Could be that dead friend from college. Yeah, could be. Everybody's got one of those, don't they? Perhaps it's that ex that you didn't stop from getting into the car drunk. No, nope. never happened. Try again. Maybe it's your mother. My mother? 
She's dead, isn't she? Well, lots of people's mothers are dead. Too true. Too true. The effort is good. The effect is definitely unsettling, but, but you're not my mother. Is that right? My mother would never speak to me this way. Except when she's disappointed. Was she disappointed in you, Thomas? <laughs> say something after. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it's been six years. Yeah, I know. What made you think of it? I don't know. I, I, I was thinking that the anniversary of her death was coming up and that, that it would be nice to say a mass in her name. Not that I could. She would have been proud of you. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it. You're welcome. How are things on your end? We're fine. We're good. Works good? Yeah. Uh, things are good. You know, we've been put in charge of a new project. I'm excited about it. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Tommy, can I ask you something that's strange? Have you ever not asked me something that wasn't strange? <laughs> Fair point. What's up? Okay. Well, okay, I know how this is gonna sound, right? But this new person moved into my building a few weeks ago. And you've already slept with them, and it was terrible. And you want me to absolve you of the sin of bad sex. <laughs> you have a surprising lack of empathy for a man of the cloth. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so she's this older woman, I'd say mid 70s, something like that. <laughs> you better be careful. She might steal your dates before you can get them all. Preach. Welcome <laughs> to have them. True. <laughs> Church. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's up with the dirty old maid? Yeah, okay, so I run into her in the foyer once in a while. And, you know, I say hello and welcome her to the building and all those things, right? And I learn a little bit about her. She's a widow, no kids, trying to start over after the death of her husband. All right. Last week, she invited me in. Asked me if I'd like some coffee and some pumpkin bread, she just say. You love pumpkin bread. I love pumpkin bread. So I went over to her apartment. Okay, so you go yeah, over. Yeah, it's just lovely and all that, but I can't get her to say much about herself. I asked her about her husband, and she said she'd rather not discuss it. It shifts it back to me. I think that's weird. Maybe, maybe it's just too hard or too raw for her to discuss. Yeah, but listen. There are no pictures of him anywhere in her place. Nothing. So what again? Maybe it's too hard for her to talk about. Well, maybe, but there were no pictures of anyone. No family, no friends, no one. I mean, isn't that strange to you? I mean, maybe it's a little strange, but, but maybe she doesn't have any friends. Maybe she lost all her photos in the fire or something. But what are the chances of that? Yeah. Okay, I know, I know. It's just that it was empty. Blank. She just moved there. All right, but it gets weirder and it involves you. Me? Yeah. Okay, so here's what happened. She's asking me questions about myself, what I do, career, things like that, right? Normal stuff. And out of nowhere, she says, are you Catholic? And I said, yeah. How did you know that? And she said she could tell because of how I spoke. <laughs> the benefits of parochial education. <laughs> Stop being a smart ass, Tommy, and just listen. So I tell her I am, and she says, You must go to St. Dominic's. And I said, Yeah, I do. There's not that many Catholics. And out of the blue, she says, Your brother is a priest there. What? I swear to God. Does she go here? No, said she doesn't go to church. She doesn't believe in organized religion, she said. Oh. How could she know that? I don't know. I mean, to make a stab in the dark like that? I mean, to know all of that. I don't know. Well, maybe. 
maybe you've got that. Maybe brother is a priest written all over your face or something. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, but maybe it's a little odd. I and then she asked me if you were the exorcist. What? So that all Catholic dioceses have an exorcist? And that it's someone who's kept an eye on my stuff. And only the bishop and the exorcist know who it is. That they do that for protection so that forces of evil or whatever can't get to him, that they can't target him and can't go after his family. I thought you said she didn't go to church. Well, she said she studied Catholicism a lot, that she didn't believe in it, but it was fascinating. That's not true. What is it? The church does that, or you're the exorcist? Neither. Well, you're not the exorcist? Or do you even know what goes into an exorcism? Only what I saw through my fingers the first time I saw the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's my point exactly. <laughs> Listen, I don't know who this lady is, but she's just spooking you. I mean, getting an exorcism is like when the church tries to confirm a miracle. It's a rigorous process. Evaluation, psychological, physical. There's a lot of tests. You can't just walk up to a priest and say, I'm possessed and I need an exorcism. It's extraordinarily rare. And, and even then, I'm not sure how valid they are. It's, it's, it's not like a movie. But aren't you supposed to believe in it? Listen, just because I believe in, in something doesn't mean I need to abandon all rational thought. Faith can exist with reason for that thought. God gave us the gift of thought for that reason. We can do and create and convince ourselves of anything from that gift. That's where the supernatural lives. Not with demons in your closet or monsters under your bed. What? You didn't answer my question. What question? Are you the exorcist? No, of course I'm not. Is there one? Is there an exorcist in the diocese? Well, if he's supposed to be anonymous, how the hell would I die? Well, fuck, Tom, don't you take this seriously at all? I mean, what is there to take serious, Mary? I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. Hold on. If this is nothing, then why are you angry? What are you walking away for? I'm angry because I thought you knew better than this. I'm walking away because I have to get back to the rectory. All right, hold on. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I, I'm not trying to annoy you. I just, it was really strange. It, it made me worry for you, you know? I mean, God, you're my only brother. We're only family. There's nothing to worry about. Everything is fine. I'm fine. If Mom were here, she would be. Mom's not here! The world keeps spinning without her. Things move forward without her. So quit throwing her in my face, do you understand me? What was that mask for today, then? I haven't seen her since, you know. Seen who? The old woman. So the neighbor. What? I mean, I haven't seen her. No one has. I've been asking my other neighbors, and no one has seen her. And what's more, no one had any idea what I was talking about. What does that mean? I don't know. I would talk about the old widow in 27 B, and nobody had seen her, and no one has met her but me. I asked the super about it. Yeah, and what did he have to say? He said that the unit was empty, that it had been for months, and he couldn't print it out to save his life, he said. I mean, there's probably... I told you it was strange. It was hard, wasn't it? What was? Listening to her breathe like that. Who are you? You already know. <laughs> See,